The vast blue that covers almost 70% of our planet hides a reality we often overlook. Even if the ocean is sunny and waves are rolling, over 80% of it is undiscovered and in darkness. What secrets await us in those uncharted cold depths? This planet needs great adaptation to survive, defying the rules of reality. Bright, translucent-skinned alien-like creatures thrive here, and bizarre, incomprehensible items have been found, each one more mystifying than the last. What's underneath without light or human understanding? Come explore the ocean's dark depths with us and find the most wonderful, bizarre and horrifying items ever found. After reading the responses, you may question how much we know about our planet. Predator in the depths. Imagine a terrifying beast 6,000 feet below the Gulf of Mexico, an alligator. You heard right, a real alligator in the chilly marine blackness. Real alligator, not fossil or monument. Improbable, right? Interestingly, it wasn't alive. The next events are scarier, not natural. Louisiana University's Marine Consortium researchers conducted a fascinating experiment. Three dead alligators were thrown into the depths to test the strange beasts. Shocking results. Football-sized isopods, underwater pill bugs, ate one alligator in 24 hours. Freaky, right? The second alligator. After being stripped to the bone, its bones had a strange brown fuzz. One new bone-eating worm was the fuzz. It became weirder when you thought it couldn't. This passage really puzzled our scientists. The third alligator? It vanished. Vanished. The deployment harness, weight and creepy drag traces left. A 40-pound alligator was mysteriously taken from the ocean floor. An undiscovered predator, a giant squid, or something else. Whatever it was, scientists were upset. We wonder what additional horrors lay in the ocean's undiscovered depths graveyard of turtles. Not all ocean mysteries include terrifying creatures. Some spook differently. Josh Vergara, a diver off Sipadan Island in Malaysia, encountered something unpleasant 75 feet deep. A cave. This cave was remarkable because it contained sea turtle bones. The turtle tomb, as locals name it, is visible within. The dark corridor has dozens of turtle shells strangely calm. This dismal and excruciating situation makes you ponder what's going on. Why so many? Locals believe the turtles come here to die quietly. An undersea sanctuary. The truth is likely considerably worse and sadder. The cave's narrow pathways and dead ends are bewildering. Elegant turtles may be fooled by its twists and curves. Turtles can hold their breath for two hours, but they probably got lost in the labyrinth. They were trapped with declining air supplies and presumably died from weariness or asphyxia. It shows that even the most amazing species may be defeated by the deep oceans. The Turtle Tomb is a haunted underwater cemetery with empty shells. Nightmare in the deep. Ocean species get increasingly odd as you go deeper. Evolution modifies and causes odd mutations, creating inconceivable animals at great depths. This weird living species found off the coast of Angola in 2015 stunned even seasoned specialists. The Serpent Project's remotely piloted vehicle snagged it at 4,350 feet below the surface. It seemed alive. What was it about? It was headless, eyeless and bodiless. The shadowy limbs twist and pulse in a terrifying mess. It resembled a horrible marine tale that shouldn't be seen. The truth became stranger as the crew watched. It was a siphonophore, a bizarre aggregation of microscopic organisms that operate together like one. Others polyps hunted, others digested, while others helped the colony move as a single organism. Siphonophores change form, making them extremely scarier. They change shape at will, making each sighting appear like a new monster. 
Another weird and terrifying siphonophore appeared off the southern US in 2014 for the EV Nautilus crew. These deep-sea horrors are one of the longest mammals on Earth at 160 feet. But what's scarier? The way their shapes change makes it impossible to anticipate their future appearance. It seems like the ocean created a shifting monster to show us how much we don't know about the depths. The ocean's giant blade. Weird creatures aren't the only secrets hiding in the ocean. What divers found off the coast of Madagascar is so strange that it begs the question, how is that even possible? A very large knife. This isn't a broken cooking tool that got lost in the ocean. This blade is more than seven feet long, depending on how the dives are holding it. Take a moment to think about that. The true mystery is, what or who could possible require a blade of that size? Some theories believe it was once owned by old giants who lived on Earth thousands of years ago. Some people think it could have been used to battle ancient monsters like the Megalodon. Those are very interesting ideas, but the truth could be more straightforward. This knife could really just be a lost movie prop, or a broken off propeller, or rudder from a plane or ship. You'll see a lot of confusion about this unusual object, and also different opinions about how it found a way to the ocean. What do you think? What, in your opinion, is it a lost prop from an old movie, or a priceless artifact from an important event? The ocean's radioactive graveyard. Some ocean mysteries are man-made and scarier than Mother Nature's. Internet rumors about nuclear reactors on the seafloor are long-standing. The truth about photoshopped photos. It's equally unsettling. Thousands of nuclear items were dumped into the Barents Sea by the Soviet Union during the Cold War. Among them, fully six nuclear reactors. They came from old submarines like K-11 and the K-19, known as the Soviet Navy's Hiroshima. This undersea cemetery included the first nuclear-powered ship, the Lenin Icebreaker. Over 90% of the radioactive waste in those seas comes from these reactors. They are not just lying on the bottom. Corrosion might release dangerous radiation into the water. And history, if not controlled, experts say. Why don't they delete it? The issues begin there. The nuclear ruins are almost 650 feet deep, requiring military-grade submarines, specialized equipment and an army of specialists the procedure cost $300 million. These ticking time bombs slowly leak radiation into the abyss, a horrific reminder of humanity's careless past that haunts the seas today. The Ningen. Is it myth or monstrosity? In 2010, Japanese researchers from Jamstec discovered a pale, shapeless figure hovering in the Pacific Ocean's icy waters, possibly the first real footage of the Ningen a cryptid said to roam the icy waters of the Antarctic. The Ningen is believed to be massive, up to 100 feet long, with a pale human-like body and hollow lifeless eyes. The deep ocean is one of the most unexplored regions on Earth, and scientists discover hundreds of new marine species each year. Skeptics argue that the creature described in these stories is too large and too human-like to remain undiscovered, while others believe sightings could be misidentified whales, large manta rays or icebergs. The Japanese government has remained silent on the topic, and conspiracy theorists believe classified research missions in Antarctic waters may have uncovered something they aren't ready to reveal. The mystery remains, but if you find yourself sailing in the cold, dark waters of the Antarctic and encountering something watching from beneath the waves, you might want to know what it is. A predator in the midnight zone. Would you survive the encounter? Deep sea lizardfish, one of the ocean's most tenacious predators, can survive in extreme conditions like near total darkness and freezing temperatures. Their large pupils hunt using bioluminescent light and their teeth are sharp enough to bite and catch anything. These creatures are vicious nighttime predators making other lizard fish vulnerable. 
Studying the ocean under 20% may reveal undiscovered depths that may house hazardous monsters. Deep water contains alien fauna, crushing pressure and cold, and surface organisms may change drastically. Onion-eyed grenadiers, another strange creature, live deep underwater due to barotrauma caused by underwater pressure. We know nothing about deep water, but we find weird creatures that can live in full darkness and extreme pressure every year while exploring less than 20% of the ocean. The silent stalker of the deep, a predator like no other. Most species struggle to live 15,000 feet below the surface in everlasting darkness and crushing pressure. A fish has learnt patience. Tripod fish are predators that don't pursue, hunt or move. Instead, it waits. The abyssal zone is termed the ocean cemetery because few animals can survive there. But tripod fish thrives here. No other fish does this. Stands. Its three long bony fins hoist it almost three feet above the bottom like a ghostly sentinel. Only the beginning of its craziness. Tripod fish lack speed. It hunts without chasing. Not even sight is needed. Its millimeter wide eyes are nearly useless in the pitch black abyss. How does it hunt? It senses water vibrations with its long antenna like pectoral fins above its head. It sits still, facing the river, waiting for anything little and ignorant to float too near. And when it does, a fast blow and swallow stop the stalker again, but surviving in the abyss requires more than food. Finding a partner. The tripod fish takes no risks at 15,000 feet below, where life is limited. A hermaphrodite like the deep-sea lizardfish, it has male and female reproductive organs. Not finding a partner? One is unnecessary. It can fertilize its eggs, enabling its species' survival in isolation. In the uncharted ocean depths, weird and terrifying animals have developed. Silent hunters exist. Some attract prey using light. Some, like tripod fish, wait. If we send an expedition down into the abyss, what may be monitoring and perceiving us? Waiting for us? In the deep water, the deadliest predator may never move. The Watcher in the Abyss, a deep sea mystery. After midnight, sunlight is severe, as few have seen since the moonwalk. Unusual life emerges in the deep, freezing Hadal zone, one of the scariest images glides ghostly in the dark. Discover Magna Pinna, the big fin squid, ghost of the trench. Other squid move faster and better than Magna Pinna. Instead, it floats. Large see-through wings lift it. Is this terrifying? Magna Pinna's puppet-like arms can stretch 26 feet like a school bus. They're busy, they curve. Its tiny limbs feature elbow-like joints peculiar to this squid. The outcome? I don't swim. It rarely pursues or attacks. Moving its arms in the dark, it awaits action. No one knows how Magna Pinna hunts. Its tentacles can grab anything on the ocean bottom. Some think it floats softly, utilizing its limbs as sticky traps for little creatures. Another choice is scary. Might be watching. As it sinks into darkness, its long arms remain immobile. What else is in trenches? Ahadal life rules alter. Humans may not grasp how animals alter their behaviors and appearance. The rare Magna Pinna may exist. The Deep Sea's Hidden Secret. A new discovery. September 2023. A remote submersible dives off Alaska. No AA researchers are studying the ocean bottom almost two miles underwater, where light has never touched. They see it then. It first seems man-made, like a forgotten relic or extraterrestrial artifact. However, the robotic arm grips hold, revealing that this is alive. At least it was. The untrue mystery. This odd organic mass clung to a rock in the freezing depths, it was delicate and silky, 
It seemed weird, however. Deep sea egg, an undiscovered species, no one knows for sure. When they revealed it, the mystery intensified. Once out of its deep sea habitat, the ball collapsed. The form collapsed. The building collapsed. An unrecognizable sticky sludge replaced a solid golden spherical, like it shouldn't be touched. Something watching? What they discovered is unknown to scientists. Some think it was a sponge, an unusual egg case, or something new to science. But one question remains. It was gold because no light exists 10,800 feet below the surface. Colors like these are useless. Perhaps it wasn't intended for us to see. The deep sea's best secret. Our globe is 70% ocean, yet over 80% is undiscovered. We've charted Mars better than our waters. If anything, this weird can be found by chance. What else is down there? The ocean's ticking time bomb, a disaster, waiting to unfold. Researchers found something surprising deep in the Baltic Sea, a leak, non-oil, not water-based, but methane, and unlike anything documented, a massive methane seep at 1,300 feet covers 7.7 .7 square miles, 4,000 soccer fields. From the seafloor, bubbles are rising everywhere, creating an unreal scene for scientists. The greatest mystery, methane is misbehaving. In most cases, ocean bottom methane dissolves into the water and breaks up before rising. It may reach a few hundred feet before disappearing, but here, gas rushes to the surface. Some bubbles reach 65 feet of air, unheard of, and nobody knows why. Current hypotheses imply the methane derives from decomposing organic debris buried under the bottom for thousands of years. But the size of this leak, the gas's behavior, it defies convention. Here comes the scary part. The greenhouse gas methane is much stronger than carbon dioxide. Massive emissions could accelerate climate change in ways we're unprepared for. So the question is, scientists have long worried that oceans and permafrost contain trapped methane that could be released by changing temperatures or underwater disturbances. Could this leak foreshadow something? If we know anything about our planet's history, when methane rises, disaster strikes. The Titanic's lost secrets, more than just a wreck. Titanic, one of the most famous wrecks. Tragedy, mystery, and lost time. It drowned in 1912, killing approximately 1,500 people in the Atlantic. The ship was hidden almost 2.5 miles under the waters for decades. What if anything fled the crash before discovery? In 1976, North Atlantic fisherman Abel Federico Nogueras saw something unsettling while bringing in his catch. Among the fish and debris was a porcelain doll's head with missing eyes and a blank face. It went beyond unpleasant. It was impossible. Over 6,500 feet below the surface, Nogueras fished near the Titanic's wreckage. Who made the doll head? Early 1900s, German doll maker Schunau and Hofmeister. The production date? 1906, a few years before the Titanic's first voyage. Even chillier, Eva Hart admitted to abandoning her doll on a lifeboat. Could this eerie artifact be hers? How did it escape? The doll head was unearthed nine years before the Titanic disaster was found in 1985. 